Welcome to Live at the Legislature. I'm Carolyn Tanaka, and every Tuesday morning, you can find me here with a bunch of, with a variety of representatives talking about issues, legislation, and priorities moving through the halls of the state capitol. With me this morning is Representative Ryan Yamane. He represents Mililani, YPO Gentry, and Y. Kelly. Good morning, Rep. Thank you Good for morning. driving in so early to be with us. Glad to be here. You know, before we start talking about some legislation that you've introduced and, and some of your priorities as Chair of Water and Land and Hawaiian Affairs, I wanted to, to, to let the people know um, something very interesting about you. You are a social worker by yeah. trade, and you um, volunteer with the American Red Cross, and you have been deployed several times to several major disasters yes. on the mainland. Can you talk a little bit about your experience? Sure. I've been with the American Red Cross as a volunteer for mental health for over 14 years. Um, and I have been to several deployments, including the Parkland shootings, the shootings at Las Vegas, um, and the fires at Paradise. Uh, have, does that have those experiences influenced um, the, the way you legislate or the things that you lo look at? Because I do notice, and we are going to talk about it, some of your bills mm -hmm. that you introduced this year um, deals with bullying and school violence. So if you can talk a little bit about the correlation. Yeah, sure. So as a volunteer disaster responder, I meet with the disaster uh, volunteers and the first responders. And one of the things that keeps coming up is the issue of violence um, in schools mm -hmm. and on academic uh, campuses. And so this year in the off session, I met with those from the community. I met uh, at the Fusion Center to get information. And so this year came up with a, uh, several bills to try to address that, to prevent that from happening in Hawaii. So one of them, uh, the bills are is to um, have the proper education, not only for students, but also for staffs of educational sites. Mm -hmm. uh, we did several bills on to try to address uh, the victims of bullying so that they have resources. One of the issues we noticed was um, that certain areas were not getting the re resources and the attention that they deserve. So we actually have a bill in this year to provide a resource for the LGBTQ community so that they can come together, um, talk about some of their experiences, and help educate and provide policy improvements throughout the state of Hawaii. And are those some of the things that you picked up while you were on deployment at the, at the school yes. shootings? So when I went out there and met with um, different communities in Florida, in Las Vegas and in California, one of the things that uh, came up was the issue of violence and how to do prevention. Mm -hmm. And so if you look at the research, prevention can happen daily within our school systems, within our community. And so using that, I met with different um, community stakeholders and came up with these ideas uh, to try to help uh, try to reduce some of that bullying, some of those negative experiences that might lead somebody to do violence. Do you think that um, we are doing enough in our schools to address the issue of bullying? I would like to see more, and so that's why some of these bills were inspired this year. So another bill we're trying to do is to give um, uh, schools the resources to allow students who are, are homeless to be able to use the facilities to do showering, uh, to do, wash their clothes, to help reduce the stigma of that, and mm -hmm. um, you know, help make their uh, school experience more enjoyable. And and where are those bills are moving? Yes, they are. They're currently in our finance committee. Okay. I also see that um, another area that uh, another bill that you introduced um, is designed to help our national guard yes. Uh, soldiers. Yes. Can you talk a little bit about sure. that? Sure. So the bill is to ask for a study um, by our employment. Uh, employee retirement system to look at providing benefits uh, to those that were uh, called up to the Guard or the Reserves on behalf of the state of Hawaii to do deployments throughout the world. Um, it's very important for us to show our veterans um, support and one of, and this bill, if um, the study comes out the way we think it is, is that they will be increased in benefits. And some other, I think another batch of bills you're, that you've introduced this year address the, um, the ever-trending um, problem of, of uh, climate change and sustainability. Yes. So go through a couple of those sure. bills first. So this year, you know, we wanted to be um, one of the leaders in the world regarding the issue of sustainability. So one of those things is making sure that we as a state 
um, integrate that into all that we do. So one of the things that we're doing is trying to develop a Department of Sustainability. First, we're going to do it internally as um, sub, uh, help our state sustainability coordinator. Uh, we're also trying to look at ways of providing resources to our coastal zone management individual in which now they'll work integratedly with Department of Transportation and the other departments to come up with um, policies, procedures, and rules to address the issue of climate change and sea level rise. Moving on to that, that kind of, um, you bes you were also the chair of the Water, Land, and Hawaiian Affairs yes. Committee. Um, it's quite a mouthful. Yes, it's, <laughs> it's, well, it's been a committee that deals with a lot of complex issues, but Water, Land, Hawaiian Affairs, tell us, uh, I mean, what, what does your committee deal with? So my committee actually deals with the top of the mountain all the way into the ocean. We deal with state waters. I deal with issues relating to land use, to water access. Um, we deal with protection, Native Hawaiian rights, um, Department of uh, Hawaiian Homelands, and Office of Hawaiian Affairs fall under my purview. So my committee is quite robust in regards to potential topics and policy issues. What are some of the things that you're taking a look at this year in your committee? So, you know, one of the things that I take it very seriously is to try to help um, the Native Hawaiians Kanaka Maolis. And so one of the things that we heard was they, they, they have this uh, deep connection with their past. So one of the things we're trying to do is put resources in Iolani Palace. Mm -hmm. um, we've worked with uh, Iolani Palace to one not only try to redo their roof, but also to address some of the failing infrastructure so that it can be the palace that people are proud of. We're also working on issues of getting actual affordable housing units within the urban core mm -hmm. uh, so that Native Hawaiian beneficiaries can actually get units quicker and faster. So we're doing that in East Honolulu and we're also looking at trying to revitalize Mapunapuna area so that we can get um, needed, uh, desperately needed units out to Native Hawaiians. Well, as I it said, that it, it's a committee that deals with a lot of things, a lot of um, complex things. And very quickly, we've got 43 seconds left. I w would be riffed if I didn't m ask you about uh, TMT. <laughs> okay, what would you like to know? We did a rezo uh, uh, on behalf of the speaker. Very we heard the rezo yes. um, that talks about getting this commission together. Um, it's very similar to a bill that we introduced, I introduced, in which would make a cabinet member, one from Native Hawaiian ancestry, to help guide the state forward on dealing with these issues that, um, from past hurts and wrongs to moving forward in a way that is pono for them. Right. Um, you know, have it be self-determined on what issues they think is important and where they want to be. Very important, very important reconciliation attempt. Yes. Thank you, Representative, no, no, for, thank you, for joining us this morning. And thanks to all of you for joining us once again at Live at the Legislature. See you next week. Aloha. Aloha. What are you doing? We have to go. I'm gonna be late for work. It's Tuesday morning. I gotta record live at the legislature on Alelo. Senate and House leadership discussing what's happening at the state capitol. So just watch it on the news tonight. Come on, let's go. Hey, this is like getting the news before it's news. If only I could get this remote to work. There. Can we go now? No DVR? No problem. Watch Wednesday evenings at 7 p.m. on Channel 49.